Today is the day that we get serious about not making money on YouTube. I've told you that part of my retirement I wanted to pursue some, for want of a better word, artistic pursuits. Uh, working on that second novel, um, which I haven't started. I have started. That's a lie. I started the second novel quite a long time ago. Just didn't have time to finish it. Uh, I haven't started here in retirement. Uh, I was working on the Pizza Locust and um, YouTube crushed my dreams there with their revised monetization rules. But my <sighs> stubbornness? Let's use stubbornness. What the heck? still finds the whole YouTube channel thing very appealing. You just have to be thinking more in terms of bigger audiences. And obviously pizza reviews in Phoenix isn't it. But I'm willing to give it a go and I have time to give it a go. Um, and I'm sure that, you know, Wherever you go, there's going to be something of something that you, you're you doing, somebody else is already doing. There are so many people who are putting together weekly or even daily YouTube <clears throat> videos uh, that are reviewing the news. Uh, that's the wrong way to put it, but in other words, news of a particular topic. They're trolling for news of a particular topic and then regurgitating it um, in a digested form for their viewers. And I'm not happy with any of the ones I've found so far on paleontology news. And it's a topic that interests me. And I think there's enough for a weekly video, uh, especially since it doesn't have to be super timely. So if I can, because sometimes you'll get three, four, and five in a single day. And if I can just, uh, you know, get a few in the can and work your way through. I think we can buffer it into a weekly show. And uh, so today is the day I'm going to start working on that. I have the first news article that I want to do. I have an angle. I would really love to get Michelle to do this. <clears throat> Not do the whole thing, but I mean, I would love to get Michelle in front of the camera so that I could do all the behind the camera stuff, even the writing, if that's what it takes. Um, because I think that the appeal is the right age, and I think there's a better chance of getting a larger subscriber base if it wasn't some old fart uh, doing it, as opposed to a young woman. Cynical, I know. But the reality of advertising, marketing, and YouTube says youth counts. And hopefully, hopefully she'll change her mind. She's just scared. She's just nervous about being on camera. Um, and maybe she has right to be, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to start with the scripts. Um, I've got work to do for titles and graphics, um, got to devise the format of the show, the targeted length, um, the level of paleontological knowledge that you have. I mean, is it aimed at kids? Is it aimed at people who are professionals? No. Uh, is it is it aimed at, at people with my level of background, which is certainly not professional, but it's more than passing? Um, I don't know. I have to think about that. I have to see how it flows. I have to see how much information I want to impart. Uh, or, you know, am I just interested in the big idea with each article? What's interesting? What's the angle, right? What, what, what sells this particular article? And, um, hopefully I can come up with a format that's reproducible and that I can stick to and that won't be super hard to do, and certainly will be capable of doing one or more per week uh, as needed.
bit garlicky. That's odd. Well, I'm trying the Little Caesars five dollar lunch combo. That's um four piece deep dish pizza pepperoni and a twenty ounce bottle of Pepsi. I was over at Costco and I didn't want to eat at their food court, so thought I'd give this a try. It's all right. It's supposed to be ready when you get there without calling ahead, which means, of course, it's been sitting there for a little while. I really, really need to do another video bitching about my ring doorbell. And it's not just because mice like to sit on top of it and take a piss on it. It's because it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So, for example, I have been waiting for over a week now for my latch for that window. And I've been here for the most part. I went and had lunch with somebody from work yesterday, but for the most part I've been here. And I never hear when the mail person arrives. I never, they never knock at the door. Uh, but about ooh, an hour and a half ago, something went off and I'm like, oh, 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 motion at the door, motion at the door. As it happened, I couldn't go to the door at that moment, but, you know, 20 minutes later, I got around to checking on it, and the second I step out the door, the thing's triggering alarms and stuff, because there's motion at the door. Well, no mail. Absolutely no mail. Like, it could have been the postal worker coming up and checking on it and not leaving anything and not taking anything, I don't know. But I checked the video and nothing, it's completely nothing. The only thing I can see is that maybe a truck drove by and it flashed light in the sensor. Um, I'm standing here in the kitchen a few seconds ago and I look out the window and I actually watch the postal person come up to my house, approach the front door, go to the mailbox, walk away, ring doorbell does not in any way trigger. Now let's go outside and see if anything happens. Yes, the mailbox is closed. I'm about to step out the door. Door open. Nothing yet. I've stepped now past the threshold of the ring and it's going off. The postal person has to stand right here. Doesn't go off. Hasn't gone off all week. And more importantly, Western window! The part is here! Woohoo! Finally! I can fix my window. If only, no more time to go pick up Michelle. Okay, I got a few minutes. I can probably do this. Just looking through the junk mail that comes in, and of course I've got my batch of daily letters saying, we'd love to buy your house in whatever state it is. Now, if you don't know how this works in a hot real estate market like Arizona, what happens is, people who have too much money and want to make more money go to these classes that are put on by people who are making the money by selling the classes and what they do is they teach them a technique for getting rich in real estate and basically what it involves is it takes a look at the price of a house and the market in the area so they have an idea of what the houses might sell for and they basically just go up to them and lowball these people and say 65 percent they don't say 65 percent but they pick a number that's 65 percent of the anticipated sales rate say i'll give you this cash on the head take it get out of the house and i guess enough people do that and then they flip those houses so i'm getting them all the time uh, and it's kind of annoying because i not that type of person i if I wanted to sell the house, I'd fix it up myself, and I'd get the full value. Anyway, the important one here is that Michelle has been getting dozens and dozens and dozens of college admissions things, and a few nice universities, but, you know, most of the nice universities don't go necessarily go hunting sophomores. Uh, but uh, here's, here's MIT. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I wish I'd gone to MIT when I had the chance. But... We won't tell my daughter that. <laughs> too cold. Too cold up there. No, 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 no. No. Oh, well. That's it. Now I go fix this door. Nap. Latch. Thing. Window. Thingy. So. In my 
my invoice. And here, oh, that's definitely the part. Mm, that's mostly the part. Yeah, that's, that extra little funny bit sure does. It came with the screws. I can just put this right in. I don't even have to like go find screws. It came with the screws. That was worth the extra 10 bucks right there. That was worth it. Because they originally quoted me $16. Uh, but then when I went back to get a final quote, it was $25. But uh, that's probably because it came with the screws. So, excellent. Let's go do this. I've kind of had to blow the blow that image out so you could see it because it's so bright outside. So I just want to show you one thing here that's slightly different. I don't know if we'll be able to see it or not. See, that's not... You can see this little extra little piece of metal. And it's not there on the other one. Um seems to be on the side away from the window so I think it's gonna fit but you know what can I say the answer is that looks perfect don't lose the screws which are of course Phillips and this is a regular screwdriver Phillips screwdriver Top one first. There you go. Threads in. Good. Secondary one. And assuming that this is indeed right, I should be able to seal the window. Beautiful, look at that. And it is sealed. Huh. I can see what that little extra thing does. It keeps this handle out further. Huh. Well, I wonder if I'm going to remove it or not. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Going down a little further. I think it's maybe just a settling in period. All right. Well, let's remove the tape that was holding the window shut. Because that's just stupid. And be thankful that that noise you just heard was the sound of the screwdriver hitting next to my bare foot, not on my bare foot. And we are done. Ta-da! I want to put one last coda on here before I button this one up. Earlier when I was opening up the package with the window latch in it, I was griping perhaps a little bit about the price of the latch changing from one quote to another. Frankly, I'm not too concerned about it. That, that, that's really not a big deal because this one is brass and the one that I had was brass and you know that may already have changed the pricing. When I talked to the guy on the phone, he, he said, well, let me go down and look in our parts department and see if I've got one. And he did, and he came back, and he says, well, you know, it's $15, $16, which is, for these things, is really cheap. Uh, they're normally almost twice that. So, you know, I, and I was thinking to myself at the time, I wouldn't care if it was twice that. <laughs> Frankly, you know, it wasn't that amount of money that had bothered me. So, you know, when they came back with a quote, but this time they were more specific, left-hand side, brass, etc. Like, fine. Now, as I said, they mentioned to me they don't come with screws. And I thought, well, how hard could it be to get screws, right? It, yes, it will be, you know, I'd have to take one of the screws out of the other thing and I would have to go, I, I know they're very short, they're quarter inch long, so I know I'd have to either get one cut or I'd have to go buy one. And I don't know that I have the right size or thread. But again, I could go over to Ace Hardware, they could check it, they could tell me what it is, they could get me the screw. It's, it's half an hour. Um, 
And so I was kind of joking about the fact that they had put the screws in there and that's how they charged me the extra 10 bucks. Now, I want to say right now, Western Window Service has been awesome through this. <laughs> okay? They have an uh, unbelievably large catalog of window parts on their website that you can look through and try to find a window part for your window because apparently this this is a big deal. Finding window parts is hard. And because these companies come and go all the time, they, they you know, some company comes in, they build windows for 20 years and they're being put in houses for 20 years and then they go out of business. There's no standard. I mean, apart from the window, a whole opening size, there's no standards for latches or cranks or casements or slides or who knows what. I mean, so, you know, I hadn't really contemplated that prior to starting to investigate this, but um, it was an amazing resource and they were incredibly helpful. And yes, they're very cautious. Um, they made me send a picture of the part so that their parts people could compare it to what I thought it was and say, yeah, this is the right one. And and all all amazing and awesome and good. And I, I crack some jokes because they've got this fantastic online catalog and you cannot buy online. Okay? They don't have any online ordering. You have to you have to contact them by phone and place the order. <laughs> Which seems like alright. Um, but nonetheless, amazing resource, and absolutely, if you need parts and you're in the United States, Western Window Service in Ohio, <coughs> cross thing. Now, why I wanted to put this coat on here, what I, you didn't see, and I didn't see at the time, I remember I pulled the invoice out, and I was looking at the invoice, or I didn't look at the invoice, that was the important part, I didn't look at the invoice. When I opened the invoice, there was a little handwritten note on there that said, this part doesn't come with the screws. However, I looked around and I happen to have a couple of old ones that fit this, so I included them for you. If you don't want these old screws, you can go to a hardware store and get them. They're 1024s and a quarter inch. So they gave me the thread size, they gave me the, the, the diameter, they gave me the length, and they gave me some free screws that were just lying around. I couldn't tell they weren't new. So it was no big deal. I was pleased to get them and we're good to go. But again, all around, they seem like really nice people and they were really helpful. So uh, that's my that's my plug for Western Window Service in Ohio. Entirely unpaid, but uh, there you go.